What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with the final part of my tournament that I've been hosting. It's a little late coming out. The tournament has already well and truly finished at the point that this video will be out. But uh, I just haven't got around to really showing you the final battles. So, this is one of the two semi-finals that there are. This is between Cloco and Andrew. Cloco playing as the Bowie Eye and Andrew playing as Carthage. So we will get on with the battle and we'll quickly go through some of the comps while they get ready. So I mean Cloco just spamming out those sword followers it would seem. Uh, yep, a lot of sword followers. He's bringing some axe warriors and then he's also bringing some noble horse and heavy horse and one unit of Celtic slingers. And that's about it. And then over on here we've got Carthage, we've got Andrew bringing a lot of mercenary noble fighters, he's bringing living infantry, uh, he's got Mercer Italian swords, which are a bit weak, I will admit, so they may be a soft spot. We've got Sacred Band, we've got Mercenary Scutiari, a more Sacred Band here. We've got his cavalry, which is just made up of Carthaginian cavalry. And we've got the General's Bodyguard. And we've, what have we got in archers? We've got Cretan archers. Okay. So, I mean, the way that Andrew can win this, probably, uh, he's not got the most... He's not got as many uh, melee troops as Cloco, who can just, as you can see here, he's just going to overwhelm him, it would seem flank around him. He needs to focus down this Celtic Slinger unit and then he just needs to pray that he can win the cavalry fight with some, I don't know, maybe the archer support or these Merce, these Italian swords going in. And he just needs to focus down as many units in the rear as possible. But here we go, the first clash of infantry. I would have thought that maybe like the sword followers, like they may get overwhelmed by like some of the more elite units, but it really just depends. But there's the long line, and then already you can see here the flanking is going on. The sword followers have got around the main front line. They have been met by some Libyan infantry, but this is the problem that he's going to have to have. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a cavalry fight going on out here. Getting ready. We've got some uh, Celtic warriors over here as well, and these guys are basically going to probably be having a... Well, you can see here, look, Mercy Scutiari in here. I wouldn't have done this because this unit's already engaged. With the Sacred Band, I would have got this Sword Follower unit to get behind. I'd, have, I'll enga I'd engage the Celtic Warriors with the Sacred Band just to hold them up. Because he could definitely have overwhelmed these uh, Sacred Band with more troops. Like, he doesn't need to hit them head on. He could get around them. Because this small unit here is already holding them up. And there you go. The cavalry's already in. I don't know if he's even... He's not even engaged. He's just decided to ignore... Andrew's cavalry, which is not a bad idea. And here we go, a great charge coming off. Yeah, there's the general going in. He's just going to eliminate Andrew's uh, Cretan archers. Get them off the field. Look at that. That's going to be huge. And yeah, there you go, one unit already breaking. It looks like this unit has got behind, but I'm not really sure. No, I'd say it's actually not. It hasn't got behind, but I mean, he's broken the Libyan infantry. Most Italian swords aren't going to last much longer. It looks like the right flank's about to give in for Carthage. So the center, as expected, the mercenary noble fighters beating their uh, sword followers. So now he can s surround if he wants to. Cavalry over here, I think, has actually won the fight. I'm not quite sure. I think it has. Oh, no, the, ca the cavalry just decided to move on. But, I mean, it looks like the flanks have kind of... The left flank slightly went to Carthage, I'd say. Probably just because of the Sacred Band support. But you really need to get those units back in and helping out here. Because there's now going to be a nice flank here. With the sword followers into the back of the Sacred Band. Here they come. And there you go. That is... That's probably going to seal the fate of those Sacred Band. They're already pretty low. And I think they were a 2v1 anyway. And yeah, there you go. Losing decisively. Oh, but a good charge. This might save them. Got some Carthaginian Cav, we'll get them here as they come in. Very nice. That might, that might uh, make a difference. But I don't know. This doesn't look like it has. The general for Carthage has been focused down now. This is not good. Uh, Carthage needs, he's got some sacred band over here. He desperately needs to get them over here. And he is, he's quickly running them over. He realizes that it's of the essence, time is of the essence. He needs to get his general out of there. Focusing down, I think with well, his arrow is now focusing down. Okay, the Cretan archers are just trying to shoot anything. But there you go, the general is gone. I don't know if he's dead. Yeah, he's recently died, and that is probably going to be the game. 
And there you go, a close victory. I think there must have been a chain route there or something. I don't know, but uh, end the replay there. And there we go. So Cloco won as a Bowie Eye against Carthage. There are the end results. You can have a look. Um, well done to Andrew or Jordan Hench. Uh, so we will move on to the next battle. So here we go. We have the second battle of the day. And it is Sparta versus the Arverni. Sharos is playing as Sparta. And we have Matus over there playing as the Arverni. An interesting decision to have Sparta on the field. They are a more uh, defensive faction that using a siege for instance but uh no it looks like Matus is no Cheryl sorry is going to be bringing Sparta um we will see what happens he's bringing a lot of pikes um we've got a lot of the Spartan pikes we've got heroes of Sparta we've got a Spartan hot plights yes yeah, so these Spartan pikes I would definitely be wanting to focus down I wouldn't really bother with taking out the Cretan archers because you're going to be like the Gaelic archers here are not going to be beaten uh beating the Cretan ones but there we go it looks like a charge is going to come off some citizen cav that's the other thing that Carthage doesn't have any great cav so you're kind of at a disadvantage there but here we go so it looks like Sparta is uh, going to lose his cavalry fight because he's charging to spears if anything I'd support I'd support uh, Carth I'd like support with more s cavalry but I mean it looks like he's going to go with his heavy horse around I mean there are royal Spartans going so not a bad decision to pull out but I mean the cavalry for this is going to be pretty hard. After he loses, like, lose, kills off the cavalry, which I imagine he will do, there's not much for the cavalry to go for until they go for a rear charge. So here we go. It's going to be a bit of a bit of a charge in here. Let's have a look and see what happens. I mean, I th this is probably going to be a fairly even fight because I think both sides have got spears in. I'd say Sparta might come out on top because he's got his heroes of Sparta in here. And they're just goddamn nasty. But I mean, at the same time, he's also got the worst cavalry. Like, heavy horse is pretty good in melee. And just look, look like that. Look at that. He's having to commit more heroes of Sparta to this one blob here. And this is not something that... I don't know, it's not something that Sparta really wants to do because now he's just going to get surrounded by this unit of those sworn. That's not, that's not a bad Javi. Right, here we go. There we go, and that's not, that's not awful to be fair. And there we go, the volleys are coming in. Doesn't look like the main infantry lines are going to be clashing anytime soon, which is kind of a bit dubious because they need to be attacking Bo uh, as soon as possible because that's what you've got to do. You've got to be offensive. But I guess they're just committing both their troops into blobs over here instead of challenging that main line, which I guess, I mean, it's Spartan Pikeman. Currently, if Arverni catches him unawares, he could probably engage his pikes without them getting their pikes down. The general's already been sent in by Sparta. This is a bold move. He's sending in his Royal Spartans here. And he's really putting him under threat. And that's a very bold decision. What have we got here? We've got Chosen Swords up against Spartan Hotplites. Wow, look at that. Spartan Hotplites losing to Chosen Swords. Which is what happens. Spartans just not meant to be fighting in the field is a defensive faction it can win in the field i've seen it happen it's just very 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 difficult to do it with them they've got lack of swords you're best going up against other hellenic factions but even then other hellenic factions have swords and here we go the pikes are down and the grind begins arverni has to just really i disengage and try and flank yeah here we go he's disengaging i don't know if he's going to flank but i certainly would start flanking Oh, we've got a huge flank here by uh, Sparta. He's trying to get around these chosen swords, trying to force them back onto pikes, but the general is being sent in by the Arverni, and he's going to help clean these guys up. And it looks like Arverni is just going to throw Javis at point blank range, which is not the worst de decision. I mean, it's treat. Uh, it means that Sparta's either going to come forward like this, or he's just going to stand there. It's like. If you bring pikes, you just got to expect there's going to be a lot of damage into your pikes before they really get into combat. Kill. 
But I mean, yeah, that looks... Um, let's look at the flanks. It looks like Arverni is going to win over here. I mean, these Heroes of Spire are losing decisively. I mean, what they're losing to is Chosen Swords and some Spears. That's pretty surprising, to be honest. If I was... Yeah, this is a... These units are breaking here. Get these guys into fight. I don't know. The Spartan Hoplites here. These guys... I would just... Don't send them more in. Don't send more in. Start defending the flanks of the pikes. Because the flanks of the pikes are very much vulnerable now. Sparta's lost far too much. He might win this flank, though. The general being over here. But he is actually losing as the general. That is a concern for Sparta. I don't know. I think Arverni's general is pretty safe now. I think he routed his unit. But Sparta over here is a... Uh, on thin ice with his general, we'll put it like that. He could die at any moment. I've, yeah, I've heard his general's just javying and he's just going to continue. They're just going to play a bit of a shock tactic and just fall back. I'd now attack on the flanks here. Attack on the flank here of this Spartan Pike unit. He's going to fall back. Now I charge in. Now you charge in. But I mean, he is actually losing a lot of men anyway to these pikes. It's like, if he did charge in, it's pretty suicidal. I just flank him now. Like, what's he gonna do? If he flanks this one unit, then all these other units have to alter as well. There you go. Now I'd definitely be flanking. But he's gonna send more units in and he's gonna surround this uh, final unit of Spartan Hoplites on this flank. Not a bad decision. And there we go. They're surrounded. They're gonna break soon. And there you go, they've broken. And that's no surprise there, really. The pikes come over to try and support. This is a bad decision. He should have just kept all his pikes together. Because now this unit's isolated. They're, gonna get, they're not even going to get their pikes down in time. Look at that. And now he's falling back even worse. Like, that's not a good th sign either. He's trying to fall back. They're going to just, yeah, get caught here. And this is, the, that, this is the fall of the pikes. Or this unit, anyway. They'll get a few kills, but... They could have got more kills if they stayed in their, in their blob of pikes. Yeah, now this unit needs to surround them. But I mean, it's fairly close actually. I mean, I'd say it's definitely in favour of Arverni, mainly because he's got cavalry left. Um, actually, no he hasn't. I think all his cavalry did die. Okay, so Spa did win this flank though. That is great for them. I mean, it's all these pikes that came over and like did the damage. Cretan archers, I don't know if they've lost uh, use up all their ammo or what, but they're uh, getting cut down. It looks like Sparta though is getting ready to just, well he's making a last stand here, but I mean he's got to, he's also got to be offensive. But he's also just going to charge his pikes in without their pikes up. No he's not, no he's not, he's going to fall back. But yeah, he's just charging his pikes in without their pikes. It's a pretty bold move, so he's just using them as swords almost. Don't know if this is really the best tactic. Um, I definitely would just like charge them up to about here, then stop, then get your pikes out. That's definitely what I would do because now they're getting surrounded. They're not even got their pikes out. I guess it's possibly better that they've not got their pikes out now that they're being surrounded. But I mean, yeah, losing decisively with or without pikes. I mean, a few of them have got them out. Look at this. This is the phalanx they can form currently. Um, but yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Now he's desperately trying to get the rest of his army over here to support. If he can n knock out all these guys, then he might have a chance. But it's turning into a very close battle. But yeah, there you go. The unit is broken and gone. Broken and gone. And then what do we have now? We have just... Well, we just got really chosen swords. We've got a few pikes left. It's really just coming down to the uh, last few units. Here we go. He's getting his pikes out. He's going to charge in. Or not charge in. March in. Stop. Stabby, stabby. With his long poles. And yeah, they're just going to get around the sides. Which is what can happen. I mean... It's not unfair on the pikes now. He's... This is a decision you bring with... Like, he brought like five units of pikes. It's Your mobility is very much hindered. And Arverni's, uh, I mean, he's doing quite well actually in defending. He's pulling back right at the last mo like at the right moments to avoid being flanked. But all they've got to do is break through this one unit of uh, Royal Spartans over here. So if they really just, like, really destroyed this unit here, 
Then the rear is just like absolutely gone for Sparta. Which is what they need to do. They need to really surround, attack. If they can surround and attack all these units, they'll be fine. Absolutely fine. Looks like the uh, Royal Spartans here are just going to basically make a last stand against uh, Chosen Swords. Here they go, they're getting flanked. And that, this is it, this is going to be the end of Sparta. He's just getting surrounded now. They've got in, they've got in close, they can't pull out now. This phalanx, I don't know what happened here, but it's getting absolutely chopped down. And that's a real shame, real shame. I thought Sparta had it for a bit. Um, certainly when he broke that left flank. But uh, no, it was not to be. The pikes uh, were his hindrance in the end. If he brought more Royal Spartans, he might have done quite well there. But I don't think he had the money really to bring a lot of Royal Spartans. But he did well. Did not do awful. And there we go, a costly victory for the Arverni. So well done to Matters, who won that one. He beat Charos quite well. There are the end results in the end. I mean, Spar actually got quite a lot of kills with like some of his units. Got 200 plus. Um, more averaged out over here for the Arverni. But anyway, on to the third and the third place playoff, which is going to be between Charos and Andrew. So we're here with the final instead because unfortunately the third place playoff battle would not. Uh, the replay just. I don't know what was wrong with the file, but it just didn't work. So, I can tell you that Sharos beat Andrew to take third place. So, we are on to the final, which is between Matus versus uh, Cloco. So, Cloco is playing as Carthage, who we are looking at. And Matus is over here playing as the Arverni. So, two very good, strong factions. And that is what we like to see. It looks like uh, Matus is going to be playing with a very similar army to the one he did play against Sharos with, who was... So yeah, it looks like he's going to take Spear Warriors, he's got a heavy horse, it's basically the same sort of thing that he beat Sparta with. Uh, and now it looks like he's, well, he's lost his engagement over here, Gallic uh, Fire, well, Gallic Hunters, sorry. Um, as usual, against the Cretan Archers, there's just no way he can stand against them and Bale Eric Singers. Looks like he's going to get flanked, but the difference is, is that there's a very nasty unit here of African War Elephants that Cloco has brought. So... They could be huge. He's also got Mercy Companion Cav. And that is... Uh, that's kind of it. I mean, he's got a fairly strong army apart from that. Like, everything else... Like, these two units here could be huge. They're really, like, elite units. Companion Cav are very, very good. So, Elephants, obviously. His Spears. African Pikes. He's brought a lot of... I just brought three units of African Pikes. Wow. Um, so, I mean, if... Cloco plays this right, he could do very, very well with his pikes, but Masters could also just do the same that he did to uh, Sharos with his, as Sparta. Like, he could just focus down these pikes and he could just then overwhelm uh, Cloco with the rest of his infantry, which is what I'd certainly do, but he also needs to focus down those elephants some way. But he's lost his archers. So, it's a very, very difficult one to play now. Like,. It is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if he can deal with those those elephants. He certainly needs to get a lot of jabbies in. I think the elephant. Okay, the elephants are coming over here to deal with the heavy horse. By the looks of it, not a bad idea since these two units are very isolated. Um, but I mean, this is this line uh, infantry ever going to engage? I mean, it definitely needs to start doing it now. But here we go. Infantry going in. There we go. And there's a clash. So it looks like it's going to be some Salmonites up against Libyan, uh, not Libyan, uh, against Chosen Swords. That would be very weird if Salmonites are going up against Libyan infantry. That, that means they would be fighting each other. But it looks like the Pikes are also going to slowly march forward as well. I'd be focusing these guys down as much as possible. But it looks like the Pikes are going to catch these guys. And there we go. Pikes, uh, I don't know what's actually happening here. But it, it looks like the... Arverni is going to lose the first unit here. He's done very, very well as Carthage in breaking this. I mean, I don't know what he's doing with his pikes now. If They need to get all the Javis they can possibly get in focusing down those uh, Arverni. Where are the elephants? 
Where? Are, okay, they're back here. I've got to keep an eye on them. I want to see them charge in. It looks like he's going to send infantry up to go and attack these heavy horse. Not a bad decision if he can get those infantry. He's focusing down the general of uh, of uh, Arverni, which is, I mean, it's a cheesy move, but it's certainly worth doing. It, this is a final, I guess, so it's uh, it's like, what do you want to play for? And I'd certainly pull back the general. I'd just get him out of there. This is like... It's not a bad, it's a bit cheesy like I said, but it's it's a fully legit uh, decision to do in this in this tournament. If you're going to put your general that close, you also lost your archers uh, to fighting, well, in the engagement. I mean, he's still got all his archers, he could start firing on the general for, uh, there you go. He's going to break, for, he could, but he could shoot on the general for Carthage. I mean, he'd definitely get out of there a lot quicker than the uh, Oswan general. But you just need to sh if you just shifted him ever so slightly behind this unit here, he would have been a lot more safe. And the general's not quite dead, but he's going to waver, and there you go. That that's him breaking there. Turn him turning around. That that's what condemned him. And here we go. The cavalry's coming in. What's it breaking here? It looks like it's breaking a chosen sword. This is very nice. But those javies were definitely nasty. Killed a lot of pi uh, a lot of uh, cavalry there. Sorry, I'm not really showing you much of the engagement. I'm just showing you is like that general got focused down, but it's kind of probably a key moment. Pike's now getting focused down themselves, so they're getting the punishment for uh, well, just standing here, which is fair enough. I mean, they're not actually even engaging. Like the Samanites have moved the line so far forward that these guys have been left behind. The cavalry's coming in. Looks like for a charge here they, because the Arvernia have broken through. This is the general as well. So I mean, if you can kill this guy. It, Evens up fully, and like right now, I'd be getting the Galakundas focused on this general. Who cares about the pikes? The pikes will break uh, quite easily if they kill this general. But he's lo he's uh, only lost one man. And look at this, Carthage just making sure he can send him as many infantry as possible to support the uh, general and get him out. He's lost a few men, but not too many. And look at this. This is not. This is unpleasant. Chosen swords here getting focused down in the side as they break. I mean, I think that this is unfortunate. It's not like a very close final. I think uh, Mattis has just been outmaneuvered and he's just been slow moving some stuff. Some stuff's just been like allowed just to get focused down by Cretan Archers, which are definitely the MVPs of this battle, Cretan Archers. They've just focused on the well, general, other men. Look at these pikes. Though. I mean, they look glorious. The elephants are nearly in, though. They've got all the way up to here. I don't think they've actually engaged anyone. They've uh, just been allowed to just push through this line here. And yeah, I mean, they're in sur surrounding now. They've got very few infantry left. Like, look at this. He's got these Oswan just, like, hanging around here. Like, if these Oswan just charged into the side of these pikes. I mean, yeah, he's going to get out flank, but he might kill a pike unit. Or he could just charge the general. Or try and charge the general. He probably wouldn't catch him. He's also got cavalry back here. He's got these heavy horse. He should have sent his heavy horse to go and deal with the general. He's, the general's so deep in enemy lines now. And also the archers. Get the archers to focus on the general. Like, these pikes are... Who cares about them? They're not even engaging now. Like, he's just got them on the flanks to protect his main line. But yep, there you go. He's finally shooting the elephants who are going berserk. They have routed this unit of uh, Chosen Swords here. They helped do it. I mean, but yeah, this is probably going to be uh, the battle. It looks like the Arverni has just been absolutely outnumbered by... Uh, well, not outnumbered, but overwhelmed by Carthage. He brought some very nice units, like, very good cav... He brought elephants, which are just coming in. Here they come. Speak of the devil, and they arrive. And these guys are just going to mow down uh, the Oswald. Actually, the Oswald are winning this fight, which is pretty surprising. I would have kept the elephants in there. Do like a rear charge. Like, they don't need to... It doesn't matter if they die now. Oh, this is going to be a good charge. So, general against... Oh, my gosh. Didn't really quite catch all of that. But general against Gallic Hunters. Yeah, there's only going to be one win here. And it's not the Gallic Hunters. <laughs> And they're going into what they're going into now. Uh, even smaller unit of Gallic hunters. Poor guys. That's not as, that's not as cool. Just charging to a small unit because you don't mow down so many. But they are breaking both these units. And they got Oswald now coming in. Got a couple of the general uh, unit, but not many. Not the not the general, which is the key unit. And there we go. It looks like the Oswald are about to break a full unit. Look at that, a full unit about to break. That is shocking. This is why you need to commit your troops. Like, this unit's just been sitting around doing nothing. And it's now going to break at full, full, uh, well, full, full occupancy, we'll put it, or full capacity. That's a better way of putting it. Um, because 
Well, yeah, because he just left it around just to do nothing. I'd, I'd say that the mistake that the uh, Arvedi player made was just by isolating his Cav all the way out here. I know they didn't go and die, die out here, but then they also just... They were just out here and they weren't defending the flanks of the uh, army, so the so Carthage just took a full advantage. I think he also just, like, Carthage just absolutely duped the Arverni and just brought better versatility. I mean, he didn't bring as much Cav, no. Uh, he brought Elephants, which are just very good for shock. He brought Breda, better... Better... Bought better uh, Slingers and, like, Archers, which would beat the Arvernis. Even though the Arvernis did actually get 123 kills, which is pretty good. I mean, the Slingers over here did really, really well and got, like... Lots of kills. They beat the Gallic Hunters and they just could not. Like, the Gallic Hunters weren't able to support their infantry line due to, like, the fear of these slingers. So, he was then able to focus down units like the General, which I think was a silly move. Just leave your General so close to, like, the front line. It was very, very, like, easy for Carthage just to focus him down. But, yeah, I think he was just duped in the end. So, I mean, well played to both players. Uh, so, Cloco is going to be my first Swiss guard. He has been appointed that position. And we uh, ha also have given Jacurion to Matus for fighting so well and getting to the final. So we have two new uh, members, well, two new ranks in the Legion. We have our Swiss Guardsman, my first one to guard me and uh, protect me through any great battles that we have. And then we also have uh, Jacurion here, uh, Matus, who is uh, now one of the uh, ranked members of our Legion. So if you want to also take part and have a chance of becoming a Swiss Guard uh, member, in the Discord, then do join the Discord, and you can. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more tournaments soon. We need about, I don't know. Well, we can have seven uh, Swiss guards, so we need six more positions to be filled. So there will be plenty more tournaments, either for the Swiss guard position or just for glory. Um, but anyway, guys, if you hope you enjoyed the video, uh, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment as well if you want to show your appreciation. And until next time, Legionnaires. Until next time.